All right, today we are doing the Obsidian Sanctum Jumping Puzzle found in the Eternal Battlegrounds in World v. World. So there are three different entry points, all at the different keeps. Since I am green, this is the one we are going to take today. Yes, I would. Thank you. All right, so each one starts in a slightly different area. All we're going to do is head towards the purple light right here to kind of give us an idea of where the beginning of the jumping puzzle is. <laughs> Off to a great start. Look at that. Flawless, flawless transition to stairs. So just so you have an idea, purple light here, and we're going this way. All right, so you don't have to do this next part. However, we are in World v. World. If you find that your map is crowded, we can go and get a little something over here. Where am I going? Up over here a little bit. There we go. There we go. I'm not just ramming myself into the wall for no apparent reason. So we can give you just under five minutes, sorry, that is five minutes, obviously a second went by by the time I read it, <laughs> five minutes of stealth. That being said, if you had any buffs or passive um, items on, they're not going to be on. So for me, I'm taking it off because I like to go at a little faster speed. But it's there for you. There's nothing worse than going through the jumping puzzle and then midway of a long jumping puzzle at that, someone just killing you. In most areas there are stairs um, to get you back, it's just dependent on where you are and how far back you have to go. Ah, I get so nervous on these. All right, now that we've burst ourselves out of that well, we can continue on to the next part. Oh man, <laughs> my heart fluttered for a second there. I thought I was jumping a little further than uh, I was expecting. Just take it easy. There are stairs right here to get back up. All right, and as a Norn, I'm kind of used to the camera jigging out and basically jumping through the vision of my butt. It's all good. Got some traps over here, if you please. To set for others, but this is 
map's pretty empty right now. Helps if we jump in the right direction. Alright, we're gonna grab a torch. Three, set fire around you if someone's coming at you. One to do a little jab. And two, to, s to light the way, which is what we're going to be using to get through. That worked very well. I think it's just right here. I'm still a little nervous, though. I'm gonna jab this guy. And then it's gonna light up for us. And by jab, I mean the one. The one. Okay, so there is a long way to do this, and a short way to do this. The short way is here. The long way I am not doing, because it is actually very long. It almost seems like it's more risk and hassle than it's actually worth. I think we're done, yeah. I just feel like I have more chances to fall, and it doesn't seem like it's any better. Speaking of butts, the other day I was at World Boss Event and someone whispered me to tell me that my tomb had a nice butt and I wasn't really sure how to take that. I just laughed it off, but it was just such a, such a weird thing to say. But at the same time it's like, yeah, I know. I know. Server reset. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a bastard. That was almost a flawless run. Where am I? What am I doing? There we go. Oh, right at the end. I was hoping for a very flawless, straight run. That wasn't even like a big fall, like, recovered in seconds. Like, I don't want to count it if I kind of have to. If anything, it would have been like one second. I got a little confused where I actually was. happens, right? Fine, an almost, an almost flawless run. So these would all be traps if someone decided to turn them on on me, but since, you know, it's just me. Voila! We are done. Here is the light guiding the way. Thank you so much for joining. Alright. Bye guys.